Well, most of our employees come here from Vietnam or Hong Kong. The sewing industry isn't something that's really taught here in the United States anymore. You often don't hear of anyone saying, wow, I'm going to take home ec and I'm going to be a seamstress when I grow up. The ironic part is a lot of sewing is going overseas to different countries while these people are dying to get out of those countries and come here and they're bringing a great skill back here that we've really lost in the United States. But once the employees come here, they want to be U.S. citizens. They want to be people who contribute to this country and this community. As soon as they possibly can, they get their citizenship and they want to be Filson, they want to be Seattle, they want to be Washington State, they want to be the United States, and this is what our country is made up of. It's um, quite a family here, quite a family organization. When the employees come together, they eat lunch together, they're friends together, and it carries through work. I think it shows in the quality. They really care about what they're producing, who they're producing it for, what it means, and the security that it gives them in their own job, and the stability that that gives to them in their own lives. Uh, we all really looked up to Filson as a brand and, and uh, you know, as a, as a company that makes amazing product and we kind of felt like it was a good fit with fans. Both, both brands have a, a strong company history um, servicing like a certain consumer whether it's uh, you know, hunters or, or outdoorsmen for Filson and, and skateboarders and you know, Southern California uh, lifestyle for vans. Um, and both companies have classic product that is somewhat related in that it has always been relevant to those two groups of people. Um, so we just felt like it was a really good uh, fit and uh, we approached Philson and they felt the same way. Yeah, for the footwear, we just looked at, um, you know, Philson's, Philson's really well known for using the bridal leather. You know, it's incredibly durable and it's, it's their look. And um, they have these um, amazing metal details and we just try to put that in the shoes so it reflects what they make. You know, it was just really open. We talked about what kind of we would want to do with the footwear. We kind of left the bag uh, and just kind of asked if that was something that they would want to do. And um, yeah, they liked the idea of, of modernizing that classic uh, rug sack. And really, it, it's, it just involved a couple small changes. Like, we changed the shape to fit the laptop, made it a little bit bigger, um, added some padding, you know, to protect the laptop and to make it a little more comfortable, you know, for somebody who's traveling through an airport. Um, but we thought it was a neat thing because it's a piece that Filson's uh, really well known for and then the shoes are something that we're well known for so it was just kind of bringing both brands together and just merging our take on, on, uh, on the stuff we make. I've heard about it, I've heard the rumor grow, yes, and uh, I, I saw some of the, uh, the product go through the different stages of, of manufacturing. The, uh, the rucksack and we did take a look at it as it would show up at different tables in the back for the different steps and uh, we were all pretty excited about it. <laughs>